We are going to illustrate the PCA on a small data set of five samples Smith, Johnson, Williams, etc. and each have three variables uh, measured. So for Smith, we have measured a workload of 1, a distance to work of 0.2, and a salary of 1.2. Now we can take these numbers, our measurements, and put them on an axis, one for each variable. So nothing has really been changed so far. We are just plotting the data uh, on these axes, and we can represent them in a coordinate system, a three-dimensional coordinate system. So every sample Smith here becomes a point in this three-dimensional coordinate system. And we can add all the other samples in the coordinate system, and each of them will be represented by a point, and we can read the original three measurements from this coordinate system. If we had had, say, 10 variables, then we would have had to use a 10-dimensional coordinate system, but we wouldn't be able to plot that. Now, when we look at the samples, it turns out that in this three-dimensional coordinate system, the samples don't quite fill up the whole space. They're almost lying on a plane. Now, we can add a plane in such a way that it's close to all the different points we can measure the distance from each point to the plane, and we can make sure that this plane is positioned in a well-defined way. If we had put the plane in a different position, well then the distance uh, from the points to the plane would have been larger. So the plane is well-defined, in a least square sense in fact. Now we haven't really changed anything yet, but now we project the points onto the plane so we lose a little bit of information. We also project the axis into the plane and looking at this plot now with all the original axis removed we have actually retained most of the information. This is a so-called biplot and in this biplot we can actually see for example that Johnson is pointing in the green direction because he has large values on the green. Jones on the other hand is pointing in the negative direction, the opposite of the green direction, because he has large negative values uh, on the green axis, etc.